Hello, Eternal Life fans. In this video, I will be answering one question, because I take a very long time to answer it, because it's pretty in-depth. Nutrition, nutrition related. So this should be interesting if you're into longevity and uh, how to live longer through diet. So the question is by Aging Reversed. What do you think of the McDougal's diet? It's very popular in the vegan world. They say it's the healthiest. It's very low in fats, protein, salt. Basically, they say that sugar is the key to live longer and healthier. YouTubers Durian Rider and Freely are the most known ones to promote that diet. Okay, so I'm not a fan of the McDougal diet because from the research I've done, you do not want to be eating lots of sugar or starches because that will set the stage for um, advanced glycogen end products that promote aging. I'm a, I'm a fan of a higher fat diet. I think that promotes more stable blood sugar. It doesn't spike your insulin. I think if you're eating all this starches or sugars, simple sugars, such as the case of Durian Rider, he even promotes, Durian Rider even promotes drinking soda. This guy is not not someone to be taking health advice from. Sprite. I saw a video where he was drinking Sprite and he was recommending that as being a weight loss food or something. It's ridiculous. Soft drink is one of the best things for weight loss. But Shake it up a bit, let the carbonic acid get out, because carbonic acid can be bad for your dental enamel. But I would say one of the best things for weight loss to get lean, to get 2% body fat, is soft drink, is sugar, is fructose sucrose. Simple as that. That's not, that's not for longevity. Durian Ryder, he's not planning a diet on how to live long. He's, you know, he's planning on dying. So I wouldn't take nutritional advice from people who expect to die and who aren't trying to live forever. I think that people who do this uh, high sugar diet, this high fruit diet, uh, I used to be a fruitarian, by the way. It didn't work out well for me. All the fruit uh, was damaging my teeth. It damaged my tooth enamel. Yeah, I'm more of a fan of the, the higher fat, but, you know, healthy fats, of course. The coconut oil, uh, avocados, olive oil, nuts, seeds, uh, peanut butter, even grass-fed butter, I think, is a healthy fat. Preferably raw grass-fed butter. But um, as far as McDougal's diet, I do agree with the low-protein recommendations. If you eat too much protein, it's pretty taxing on your kidneys. Your kidneys has to process all that protein. Fats are pretty safe to have in higher amounts. And um, people say, well, fats are high in calories. and But if you eat fat, it satiates you longer so you don't have to eat as much. So when you're eating fat, it's like you, you can go much longer between meals. So I recommend that long uh, intermittent fasting where you eat a meal. It's so satiating. You don't need to, you know, you'll be like seven hours be before you're hungry again. And that's good. It gives your body a chance to rest. And um, and I believe it's good to be kind of in a semi-ketotic state where you're eating lots of fat and your, your body starts producing ketones for fuel. Um, if you give yourself very limited carbohydrates, your body will switch over to using ketone bodies as fuel. And that, that's good for your brain. Um, they found out that type 3 diabetes is... Alzheimer's disease. Another name for Alzheimer's is type 3 diabetes, and that's caused by spiking your blood sugar too much too often. And then your your brain can't use glucose as a fuel anymore. And um, I think I think eating a lower carbohydrate diet will prevent this in the long run. But um, I'm not saying I don't eat any carbohydrates. I certainly eat fruit. It's important to get your vitamin C. But I tend to focus on fruits that are a little lower in sugar. You know, just I've seen what Durian Writer and Freely do, like making smoothies of dates and tons of bananas and 
all that fructose, that just cannot be good for you. All that fructose, that's got to be raising their triglycerides. And higher triglycerides, if I'm not mistaken, that, that could lead to a fatty liver. I don't think it's balanced. I think that what we need is to have lots of vegetables. I like to steam my vegetables to, so that they're easier to digest and you can break them down and get all those minerals. And uh, just put some healthy fat on there some grass-fed butter on your steamed vegetables. That's a good staple, in my opinion. It's the steamed vegetables and then some fruit on the side, some low-sugar fruit, some berries. Do a berry smoothie every day. If you're interested, my friend Matt did a video exposing some of the flaws, problems with um, Durian Rider's diet. Tons of fruit sugar is not good for you. So there's some things to think about, but I'll, I'll put the link to my friend Matt's video in the uh, description. Another problem I foresee happening if for people that do the McDougal diet or the Durian Rider diet is a deficiency of the fat-soluble vitamins, vitamins A, D, maybe not vitamin D if they're getting sun, but vitamin K2. My understanding is that vitamin K2 is a fat-soluble vitamin that's only found in animal fats, such as grass-fed butter, egg yolks, um, things like that. Or you could also get it in um, natto, the Japanese fermented soy product, but I'm guessing most of these people are not eating natto. So they might find themselves with a vitamin K2 deficiency, and that would lead to weaker bones, uh, teeth problems, dental problems. Um, vitamin K2 puts calcium in the teeth and bones. So it's very good for strengthening uh, your teeth, uh, preventing cavities, curing cavities. Not only that, but uh, vitamin K2 also helps prevent heart disease because what it does is it activates certain proteins that carry calcium out of the arteries and into the bones and teeth. So it takes calcium out of the soft tissues of the body and puts it into the bones and teeth where calcium belongs. When, when calcium accumulates in the soft tissues of the bar, body and the arteries in particular, that could be lethal. You don't want to become deficient in K2. It's one of the worst things you can do. And to, to know more about vitamin K2, I recommend a book called Vitamin K2 and the Calcium Paradox. How a Little Known Vitamin Could Save Your Life. This is a great book. And the doctor who made this book, nutritionist um, lady, if you don't want to read the book, she has some interviews and some lectures on YouTube. I'll put those in the description as well. She basically just explains why this vitamin is so important and how so many people are deficient in it and it's literally killing people. Because if you're deficient in this vitamin, you are very likely to get heart disease, hardening of the arteries, because all that calcium gets to your arteries if you're deficient in K2. So um, there's that. I guess my diet is kind of paleo, except for I do eat some legumes, which paleo people generally don't eat. I do eat some grains, uh, such as oats, gluten-free grains. So some oats, some corn. I think all of this is good. It's, it's balanced. I don't like some of these extremes, the paleo people. I think a lot of them overdo it on the meat. Um, of course, I don't eat any meat. So I think no meat is ideal if you don't need it. But then again, maybe you do need it. So it goes back to listening to your body. I don't feel like I need meat. And a lot of people, the ones that do feel like they need meat, it may be because they're doing the diet wrong. They're not eating enough balanced things. They're not eating enough legumes and peanut butter to get all their protein. And so they, they crave that meat because they're lacking in essential amino acids. Um, yeah, I think that and there's probably other essential nutrients in animal products. I think the vegan thing is kind of an experiment at this point because we've evolved eating animal products, and that alone isn't an argument, but I think that 
probably evolutionary speaking, we have developed some kind of dependency or need for some kind of animal product in the diet. I think that is the case. From everything I've seen and researched, I have just see too many people getting problems when they go to an entirely vegan diet. Just, it's good to stay balanced and not go to one of these two extremes. Obviously, we don't want to be consuming too much animal products and too much meat. We want to keep it somewhere balanced where we're getting the B12 from the animal products. We're getting the long chain essential, essential fatty acids. We're getting the vitamin K2. And there could be other nutrients in animal products that aren't even discovered yet, that we don't even know what they are. So I just say stay balanced. Of course, listen to your own body. Um, that's, that's the top recommendation. In my research, something else that convinced me that the lower carbohydrate diet was the way to go is uh, Cynthia Kenyon. She's a geneticist and uh, aging researcher. She works with worms and she finds out what environmental factors make the worms live longer and which ones decrease the lifespan. And she found out that if you feed the worms glucose, their lifespan is decreased by like 20%. And she's convinced she eats a lower carb she eats a low carb diet herself. And she also um, she's convinced that it's the feeding of the lower carbohydrate diet that turns on a lot of the longevity genes. So that's pretty convincing to me. And we have a lot of the same genes as the worms. So it could stand to reason that the same low carbohydrate diet that increases the lifespan of the worms would work in humans as well. It's not that far of a stretch. And uh, so that's, that's pretty convincing to me. Anyways, thank you for the question, Aging Reversed, and um, this video's pretty long. Probably should just end it here. I'm sure I forgot some things. Um, that's just everything that came to my head immediately. So um, if you haven't checked out Aging Reversed channel, go check out his channel. I'll put that in the description as well. The Aging Reversed channel just has all kinds of cool transhumanist video clips. He uh, is a, a curator of cool little transhumanist life extension video clips, and um, I love it. Good stuff. I said he. I'm assuming Aging Reversed is a he. I, I don't know. Are you a he, Aging Reversed? Are you a guy? Um, let's do a hangout sometime. I would love to talk with you. But thank you for the question, and that, that'll be it. I hope you guys uh, are continuing to perfect your eternal life strategy and may you live forever it is possible